As this crazy, unprecedented school year comes to a close, parents are now worried about child care during the summer. News Force Carly Gordon is working to find out which summer camps will still be open and what that will look like. Just this week, the Girl Scouts of Middle Tennessee sent out this announcement saying they're having to cancel this year's summer camps. They aren't the first to cancel, they won't be the last, and now parents once again are having to scramble. When we don't have school anymore, it's what are we going to do all day long? It's Dora Freiberg has been working from home full time. She's also been playing teacher to her two sons, ages 11 and 7, all while her husband works on the front lines as a physician. You know, we've, we've had bright spots and we've had challenging dark days. Freiberg signed both of her sons up for five different summer camps. One has already canceled. The rest are in limbo. I think we'll be learning a lot more in the next week or two. News 4 did some calling around. The YMCA says while they believe they could run their summer camps while adhering to the CDC's guidelines, they have to wait and see if the various cities will allow it. Camp Davis at the JCC is waiting to hear about when Nashville Mayor John Cooper will enact phase one of his reopening plan. And the FOP summer camp for at-risk youth suspended indefinitely. If camps do go on as planned, parents have concerns about how they'll keep kids healthy. I would as a parent, expect to receive, you know, pretty specific communication from each camp about how things are going to look, how they're going to be different. If they don't go on as planned, parents worry about their kids' happiness. Especially some kids that go to overnight camp and go for four or eight weeks in the summer, and it's a place they love so much. I mean, they, they will be heartbroken if they don't get to go and spend time at this place that's so special to them every summer. A lot of parents have also been asking us about public and neighborhood swimming pools and whether those will be open. We plan to ask Nashville Mayor John Cooper that very question at our town hall special that airs tonight at 730 right here on News 4. Carly Gordon, News 4 Nashville.